Okay, so everyone, welcome to the twelfth meeting of session six of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Uh, Stuart McMillan has sent his apologies for the meeting, and can I welcome Jenny Minto, who is substituting for Stuart today. Welcome, Jenny. Thank you. Um, before we move on to the first item on the agenda, I'd like to remind everyone present to switch mobile phones to silent. And the first item of business is to consider an instrument made under the European Union Withdrawal Act 2018. The committee is considering if the appropriate scrutiny procedure and the appropriate categorisation has been applied to SSI 2022-90, the official controls, transitional staging period, miscellaneous amendments, Scotland regulations 2022. This instrument makes exemptions for some official controls for certain animal and plant products being imported into Scotland from Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. And the instrument has been laid under the negative procedure and is considered by the Scottish Government to be of low significance. In correspondence with the Scottish Government, the committee asked whether it agreed that a choice of procedure was available and if so, for further explanation as to their choice of a negative procedure. The Scottish Government confirmed that there was a choice of procedure and that the negative procedure was considered appropriate due to the limited impact of the amendments made by the instrument, which will apply for a limited time. So, can I ask, is the committee content that the appropriate scrutiny procedure and categorisation have been applied to this instrument? Yes. And we are. Thank you very much for that. So, under Agenda Item 2, we are considering an instrument subject to the May Affirmative Procedure and no points have been raised on SSI 2022-123. Is the committee content with this instrument? Yes. Thank you. Under Agenda Item 3, we are considering instruments subject to the negative procedure and issues have been raised on three of these instruments. The first is SSI 2022-90, the Official Controls Transitional Staging Period Miscellaneous Amendments, Scotland Regulations 2022. And as noted under Item 1, these regulations make exemptions from some official controls for certain animal and plant products being imported into Scotland from Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. The intended effect of Regulation 2 of the instrument is to exempt imports of certain animal origin goods which are produced in Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland from a pre-notification requirement to the Borders Control Authority. <laughs> in correspondence with the Scottish Government, the committee asked whether the absence of a reference in Regulation 2 to the Republic of Ireland was intentional and where related provisions refer to both Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. The Scottish Government confirmed that this was a drafting error and that reference to the Republic of Ireland should not have been included it is committed to rectifying this error by making a further amendment in an SSI which will be laid in the Scottish Parliament at the next available opportunity. So, does the committee wish to draw this instrument to the attention of the Parliament on reporting ground one, or I beg your pardon, uh, that its drafting appears to be defective due to the error in regulation two of the instrument? Thank you very much. Um, no one's other minded, so the committee will draw that instrument to the attention of Parliament. Thank you very much. Um, at the same time, does the committee wish to note the Scottish Government's commitment to rectify the error by making a further amendment to, in an SSI which will be laid an, in the Scottish Parliament at the next available opportunity? And we do. Thank you. Issues have also been raised on two instruments made under Local Government Finance Act 1992 for failure to lay them in accordance with the requirements under Section 28.2 of the Interpretation and Legislative, <coughs> Legislative Reform Scotland Act 2010. The 2010 Act requires that instruments subject to the negative procedure be laid at least 28 days before they come into force, not counting recess periods of more than four days. Now, the first of these is SSI 2022-124, the Council Tax Exempt Dwellings Scotland Amendment Order 2022. And these regulations amend the Council Tax Exempt Dwellings Scotland Order 
1997, so council tax is not charged on dwellings that are exclusively used as a sole or main residence of those who have left Ukraine in connection with the Russian invasion and who have to leave and who have leave to remain or enter the UK on a right to abode in the UK. And the second instrument is SSI 2022-125. A council tax reduction and council tax discounts, miscellaneous amendments, Scotland Regulations 2022. This instrument amends spe specified council tax regulations to provide that the entitlement to the single person discount from council tax liability and under the council tax reduction scheme is not affected by offering accommodation to certain persons coming to the UK from Ukraine in connection with the Russian invasion. In correspondence with the presiding officer in relation to these two instruments, the Scottish Government explained that the Homes for Ukraine scheme was launched by the UK Government on 14th of March 2022. Due to the nature of this scheme, it has the potential to increase the level of council tax liability of those who accommodate Ukrainian refugees and was not able to be fully assessed until the scheme was launched. The Scottish Government also stated that given the urgent nature of the need to change the law on this occasion and the short time frame from when the Homes for Ukraine scheme was launched and the beginning of the 2022-23 council tax year, it had not been possible to meet the 28-day requirement. Can I ask, does the committee wish to draw SSI 2022-124 and SSI 2022-125 to the attention of Parliament under reporting ground JAI for failure to comply with requirements, laying requirements, beg your pardon. Yeah. Yep. OK, thank you. And at the same time, is the committee content with the Scottish Government's explanation provided for these breaches of the laying requirements? And we are. Thank you. Also under this agenda item, no points have been raised on SSI 2022-119. And is the committee content with this instrument? Yes. And we are. Thank you very much. Under agenda item four, we are considering an instrument not subject to any parliamentary procedure. And no points have been raised on SSI 2022-120. Is the committee content with this instrument? Yes. Thank you very much for that, um, everyone. And the next meeting of the committee will take place on Tuesday, the 26th of April. And I close this meeting. And thank you. <laughs>